Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of our Getting Started series. And when we left off, we had purchased our wardrobe, we've rezzed out our pose stand and learned a tiny little bit about it. The second step that you need to do when you want to get set up and get going with wardrobe is to enable RLV in your viewer and to add an RLV folder to your inventory. Now, technically, you do not need to use RLV to make use of wardrobe. It just makes it a little bit nicer and it's essential if you want to be able to dress and undress. But you could just use wardrobe to see the pictures of the things you have and skip the RLV side. My suggestion to everybody who's starting out new, even if you do not want to use RLV initially, you want to think about doing it in the future. It's a much easier to keep it in your mind as you're getting started than it is to try and go back and enable it later. So I'm going to assume that everyone's going to go through these steps. So to enable RLV in your viewer, you have a couple of choices, and I will include a link to instructions for doing this in Firestorm in the video description. I'm in catsnip right now, but generally the steps are going to be the same. Uh, if you have an advanced menu, uh, and you can get to that by pressing Control alt d on your keyboard, that will toggle advanced on and off, Control plus alt plus d uh, there'll be an option near the bottom that says Restrained Love API. You can click on that. Uh, you can also go into your Preferences, Control-P. And in Catsnip, it's on the Catsnip tab right here, General Restrained Love API Support. Uh, again, I will include instructions in the link below for doing this in Firestorm. Uh, keep in mind the default Linden Lab Viewer does not have RLV, so you must use a third-party viewer in order to... Uh, do this. Um, anyway, so you're going to want to turn it on and then you'll restart your viewer. Uh, it requires a restart. Once you have RLV enabled on your viewer, and if you've used a lot of stuff in Second Life, there's a good chance you may already have that. The second thing we need to do uh, is we need to create in our inventory. So if your inventory window is not open, go ahead and open your inventory window. We need to create an RLV folder. And the RLV folder is where we are going to keep all of the items that we add to wardrobe. Now, some of those might be links, some of those might be actual items, it really is up to you, but that RLV folder is essential if you want to dress and undress automatically via the wardrobe HUD and web page. So to create our folder, when we're in our inventory, we're gonna to go to the very top up here where it says My Inventory, and we're gonna right click and we're gonna choose New Folder. And we're gonna name it Pound or Hash, RLV. And that's it. Okay. That will create the folder that we need, and then we can start to organize stuff inside of that folder. Now, you may already have an RLV folder in your viewer from doing other things in Second Life. If you do, we'll use that exact same RLV folder with wardrobe. So you only need one. If it's already there, you don't need to create a second one. As a matter of fact, you don't want to create a second one. All right, so step number two then is to enable RLV in your viewer and create your RLV folder. That's it for this video. Pretty quick, pretty simple. When we come back, we'll take a look at the wardrobe webpage and how to get into it and how to navigate around it a little bit. So until next time, talk to you soon.